Hey guys, welcome back to Evil West. So continuing where we left off, uh, story's starting to get interesting. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Just hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Morapass? That plant that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn are taking the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William, just in case I don't make it back in time. So his dad might be infected, huh? Glad you brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you in her lab. This reminds me of Hogwarts Legacy. One of the dorm entrances is in a casket like that, I think. I mean, not casket, real. That's actually kind of cool. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. But they're fierce and resourceful but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir, splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Holy moly, where are my notes? As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. 
Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original Disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Verge? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonator. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first and clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Hey, out on a collection run, huh? That's some heavy machine right there. Wonder if I can get it working. Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Let's see, Yesterday gemstone harder than diamonds. across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Imagine a wall of gemstones harder than diamonds. Angus tried to break it apart using dynamite. But it didn't hmm. budge. Unbreakable mineral, huh? With people locked up. Maybe they turned into a monster. Those little ball things man that's so annoying it's so small and it does like little tiny bunny hops where it's hidden behind the enemies Okay, so I can go this way, or I can go this way. Let's go this way. I don't need that. Oh, it's just for a battery? Okay, I guess I'm going this way. Any luck with the coils? No, they must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. Ooh, new weapon, crippling rod. Uh, electrical device blasts the electron discharges temporarily, disabling and electrocuting enemies while being perfectly harmless to humans. It needs to be recharged between uses. Press triangle, no need to close your eyes. Crippling rod. Oh, it's a flashbang. Okay. So, basically...
1890, Baxter. With the creation of this new invention, a new era has arrived. This marvel of modern science will empower us in ways we never could have imagined before. Like the invention okay. of the invention. Gallon gun, huh? So there's a gallon gun in this game? That sounds really cool. Down those rails. And how would I do that? There's gotta be another way down. Okay, so I have to turn this or something? Switch. Push all, push it all the way back, and then climb on it. No. Oh, I thought you had to hit X to like actually jump on off, but. Apparently you just have to walk close and it automatically like makes you climb back down onto the ground. Now we're good to go. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well, Luckily, you have a faithful sidekick who can kickstart that thing. Oh. Yeah. It's annoying. 
Now for the other two, and we can open the gate and get down there. Can't anything be simple here? Gotta squeeze through. Wait, that's it? Wow. That's tight. They really added like a just a tiny little um what do you call these? They added like one of those sliding through like to hide loading screen thingy just for one little pickup. I feel like that's weird. Maybe there's like something else there. What? Again? One of these like animation things for just one little tiny gold pickup? Am I missing something? Nope. Hmm. Money. Ride over there, or is there like one more thing? Oh, just go. Okay. That should be it. Mr. Jesse. I can see that, you know. Now what? Oh. Secret chest. sure about this you said down those rails is the best way to go uh, maybe the fastest but the safest i'm not so sure you're no fun verge Shoot stuff. Okay. What happened to Virgil though? Oh, Did he die? Are you alright? 
So there is another way down. But I'm sure yours was more exciting. You gotta see this. With this workstation, you can easily upgrade your tech all by yourself now. Wait, have I just made myself useless? Nah, you're still good for comic relief. I am? Wait, I can upgrade my tech? Blaster. Electric upgrade for the revolver is now available. Electric. Trickly augmented version of the Rentier revolver that deals more damage and can make bullets ricochet between enemies. Oh, that's so good! How much do I need? Can I reset my perks? I'll do that afterwards. I don't need that one extra shot. I'd rather have this. Yeah. Oh, that's that armored guy. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, those guys are really annoying. Wait, can I make him charge towards this TNT? down really quickly. Along with the coils. Let's get them. that or I could go this way and go for that hole uh, are there like multiple paths in this game I always keep seeing like two ways to go and then I don't know which one I should be going and then it kind of still goes through with the story so then I feel like I missed out on something glamour we found there leads us to believe that some kind of ancient creature is hibernating creature. down in those mines. Local Indian hmm. Ancient creature, huh? Just a little more. Hmm. 
this looks like the correct path. So I'm going to go back and go down that hole and see if that goes to somewhere else. Because I feel like each mission probably has like a secret vault chest for you to like loot and get uh, an upgradable ability. So I don't want to miss an opportunity to get that. What the? Whoa. Snapshot big gun. Lots of upgrades. Let's see. This is upper more damage, great finish, spike of electricity dropping a energy pickup. Mm -hmm. That actually doesn't really feel super useful. It's just for health. So and then this one rifle damage increased by 20%. Oh, that sounds actually pretty useful. Broomstick reload. I already have that. Uh, shot with a boomstick right before attacking to take double damage. Oh, so it's like a counter. That's okay. Hmm. Energy pickup for killing enemies.
I think this is more useful. Getting energy for ele killing electrocuted enemies sounds really useful. Yes, another. Oh! Damn, I should have just waited. Another perk. All damage to mid-air enemies increased by 25%. Oh, that sounds really useful. I didn't notice this last time. Ghost suit. That looks kind of weird. Okay. I don't think this game is actually probably it doesn't feel like this game's gonna be that long because I already have quite a lot of the unlockables unlocked what's the max level like I'm missing two more oh actually maybe it's significant yeah maybe it is longer I think I've been playing for about three hours now or so so I'm assuming I'm like 25% of the game really there so this game might be like around 15 12 to 15 hours long which is pretty good real length if that's the case I'll try to move it a little closer, sir. You do that. Wait, there's something there. Oh, it's another one of those bats. The bat boss again, right? Anyone see It's this one again. Why is it always this one? Damn it, I messed up.
Ooh. Oh. so much because I didn't notice that they were using that attack. Did I die? Nope. Not yet. They're close. Oh. Man. There's so many things to pay attention to. Took forever and I failed in the last part. That's annoying. I don't know why the sound here feels muffled. Like it's not really I don't I don't really hear the gunshots and stuff.
Okay, good. Finally. Oh. Yeah, okay, for some reason in that area, the gun sounds were a lot less, like, were, was a little bit dampened in that area, and that makes no sense to me. I don't understand why it was like that. I think I found the entrance, Mr. Jesse. Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got out of hand. Mr. Jesse! Before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work, or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Man, this main character is very hard to like. He's so grumpy and like, annoying. Yes, reset everything. Let's go with this. Ooh. Uh, I don't know how useful this actually is. This feels more important. Oh, but uh, first things first, I need to upgrade the reload. And then I need, this is also super useful. And then I have 5,000 left, so I could get that. Or I could get big gun and have a little bit more rifle damage. Eh, 
Yeah, I don't know. This sounds much more useful, so let's go with that. Uh, let's see. You learn this and this. I don't really know how useful this one is. It doesn't feel like I'm doing... Like, I'm not attacking faster. So maybe I'll just go with this. Weak point. And then this. That's useful. Okay, so it just uses three bars of energy and then I can punch a few times. Oh, that sounds super cool. I can't think you would. Kind of right to be out there. Work. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh. Uh. Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why is an Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, so be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I've been recording for a while, so I think I'll end it here. Made some pretty good progress. So far, so good. Uh, see, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.